Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ama Manier Air Jordan 3s in the black colorway. The original release will forever be legendary, but I'm excited to talk about this shoe in particular because I think a lot of people are sleeping on these. So starting with the box, as you can see, a big switch up compared to the original Air Jordan 3 box like we saw from the past. And I'll give you guys a full in-depth comparison video between the old pair and the new pair if you guys want to see that. But I'm definitely going to touch on a couple key points as we go throughout the review of this shoe as well. Now when it comes to this box in particular, it's going to be more similar to the Air Jordan 4 that is set to come out very soon. I've already made a full review on this shoe. So if you want to see that, I'll make sure I'll link it down below in the description and tag it at the end of the video for you guys to watch as well. So as you can see on the box right here, you have a Jumpman logo in the center. But then when you peel these two sides back right here, it opens up like this. And you can see there's actually going to be a Converse logo. And then you have your Nike branding here as well. And then on the center of the box, if you look right here, you can see you have that Am Am and Year with the tin underneath it. And then when you flip that up, you can see right here, you have a full chromed out lid. And on that lid, you have the Am Am and Year A logo all over printed throughout that kind of embossed in there where you guys can see the detail shots what I'm talking about. Now going to the shoes, you have more of a like a microfiber type cloth and that's going to be in a burgundy color similar to the Ama vibes. And then you have the white paper as well. And then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So I was recently at sneaker con Dallas and that's where I ended up picking up this pair from and I was like you know what I had to get these early just so I can give you guys a review and I know today's probably either their videos dropping today or tomorrow so that means the shoes just came out today or yesterday i don't know either way if you're watching this video i just wanted to make sure i give you guys a quick look and a quick unboxing oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the dna show so with all that being said let's go ahead and run through all the details of this sneaker looking at the outsole as you can see right here classic air jordan 3 bottom when you got the nike on the bottom you know what that means you got nike air on the back on the heel which we'll get into a little bit later but besides that you essentially got one two three different colors on the bottom of the outsole, more of a gray, kind of that brown burgundy color, and then that sail tan color here in the middle of the back end of the foot. Now wrapping up to the midsole, this is a touch that I really, really love, and I think something that people don't really talk about too often. When it comes to Air Jordan 3s in particular, you have the two-tone midsole, and sometimes they run the tone and they run it all the way through, and then sometimes they stop it in the middle right here on the inside of the foot, but that's not really the thing I was talking about. I'm talking about the matte black finish on the paint. Typically, this is something that you see more on samples and PEs and not something that you typically see on everyday Jordans or everyday releases. Now I understand this is a collaboration. I think that's partially what opened the door to them considering putting the matte black and I like how they did that. Now besides that you're going to have the sail colored paint all throughout the bottom half and on the inside of the midsole as well. And then on the air unit right here I can't tell if it's white or sail just based off the lighting but either way it's a lot lighter whether it's a tan or a white and that's going to be all on the encapsulated air unit that you can see here on the back end of the heel. Now going to the upper of the material are going to be very similar to the original Ama 3 but at the same time they're also going to be very different when you look at the areas where you typically see the elephant print on the back end and the front end around the toe and on the heel that's going to be similar here with the materials and how they went about that aspect but then when you look at the collar you can see different materials there and then obviously different coloring as well and then the perforations around this heel now you can clearly see this pair is covered in an all black leather but as I feel the materials honestly they feel really really good and I think that's something that Ama Manier does good every single time time on all the releases they come correct with the materials and I think that's what's gonna have that longevity over time that allows to people to say oh this shoe was cheap then and now it's expensive now and you understand why I think this is gonna be a huge part to its brand and the premium luxury vibe that they give and not only for the value aspect but the actual wearability aspect as well now another thing that's a big switch up on these you have the perforated tongue and a different set of materials now again I'm not gonna get into a full comparison I just wanted to unbox these and give you guys a look give you guys my opinions I know a lot of people were asking me about these at sneaker con and i was like you know what i gotta grab a pair and let's talk about it so another thing if you guys didn't know let's go over some quick history I'm on year, been around for around 10 years now. We've seen a bunch of different collaborations from Air Jordan 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, multiple colorways, 5s, 12s, airships, different things like that. We've seen Air Force 1s, we've seen other brands. We've seen all this stuff happening and a lot of people love the vast majority of all the shoes that have come out from that collection. But one thing that people always are interested in is why are the shoes a women's size on the majority of the colorways and why are the women's colorways so freaking dope? And when it comes to the original Air Jordan 3 that we saw a few years ago, these were more dedicated to the women that he grew up with. So it makes sense as to why he would make women's sizing with extended runs and going on to tell his original story behind his childhood and the foundation of his life. And I like how he was able to portray that through the sneakers, even simply by doing the size switching on how they went about 
providing more products for women as well. And I'm sure the story is a lot more extensive and a lot deeper than that, but at the end of the day, that's just kind of give you guys a glimpse of where things are at and why we see more women's colorways compared to the men's colorway. Because even on the Air Jordan 4s that are set to come out as well, this is said to be a women's colorway. And honestly, these things go crazy. Like I said, I've done a review. I'll talk about these a little bit later or you can watch the full review later. Now, continuing on with more details of the shoe, you have your all black flat wax laces. These come with an additional set of kind of that that burgundy, wine, purple, whatever color you wanna call it, grayish purple laces that match the upper as well. And then you got the cell colored wax flat laces as well. And I like how they didn't do like the crazy, you know how like some of the wax laces are just like super stiff and when you like get them in the little holes and they bend up and then it just like never stops from there and it looks terrible when you unloosen the shoe a little bit. These got a little bit of give, they're a lot more softer. They, you know, they got a little bit of room to play with. So I like how they went about that compared to going like way too premium on the laces. Now on the tongue on the right foot right here, you can see you got that switch up of materials, but also you have two different logos right here. So you got the Jordan brand logo on the right foot and then your AMA logo here on the left foot. And speaking of that, you have these hang tags as well. They give you similar vibes. You got the Jordan here with the AMA and then you have the classic Nike Air hang tag going along with that with similar colors as the upper material attachments that you see there. Now going to the sock liner and the inside on the back of the tongue. These like I said, I reviewed the fours earlier. A lot of elements that they took from the fours, which technically these are releasing before the four, so you would say vice versa, but that, I, that was just the order that I got the shoes in. There's a lot of similarities with these. The back of the tongue, you got the all over print AMA, and that's gonna be similar to on the top of the box, but also the sock liner right here, you can see you have the same thing all over on the sock liner. So those are gonna be identical on the Jordan threes. And then when you look at the fours, you're gonna have that same thing here all over AMA with the same kind of vibe on the sock liners as well. Now a hit that a lot of people love is the quilted collars on here. I think it's super dope how they did that with the satin, with the diamond stitch. Again, I talk about it all the time. The Dornbecker 6s is, is the one that kind of did it for me. I love how they went about that and I saw the similarities in these and I think they did a great job and I love how they stay consistent throughout all the models that they do because it's a premium dope touch and I love it every single time. Now one thing that I love about this shoe in particular compared to the old pair is if you take the insoles out, you can see, like I said, we had the all over, the nice materials there, but you got a polyurethane right here on the insoles. A nice addition. The old pair, let me show you real quick because this is the part that people didn't realize. Look at that. You got that classic old cheap blue insole right here. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like this does not do it. But these in particular got that upgrade. So I think when it comes to the packaging, the materials, the cuts, the presentation, the insoles, all those elements, honestly, these things are competing with the original Jordan 3 or might be even a little bit better. Now, when it comes to the actual colorway, that's the question that everybody has to decide. Which colorway do you like more? And don't get me wrong, the original AMA 3 might be one of the greatest collaborations in a long time. So I get that. I think the Off-White series was something that really did well. And then we saw Travis Scott and there was kind of a little lull in the game. And then the AMA 3s came and it kind of low-key shut the game down. So again, I, I know it's hard to compete with, but at the same time, they did a really good job on these. Another touch that I really love as well, if you look underneath the insole when you pull that out, actually on the inside right here, it says while you were sleeping. And again, they added that on the Jordan 4 that's set to come out in the future as well. And I like how they added that little touch. We always love the details. Now, on the Jordan 3s, we see on the back of the tab, there's always something, right? There's gotta be something. So let's check and see what this one says. This says, do something about it in quotes on the right foot, on the back of the tab, and you can't even see it. But again, little details, little nuggets that sneakerheads always love. And I don't know, it's just something that gets the people going. <laughs> now looking on the back tab of the left foot, it says the same thing, do something about it. So at the end of the day, if you tripping, you whining, you bitching, you moaning, do something about it. Stop talking about it, do something about it. And honestly, I like that. And speaking of that same kind of slogan where we're on that path, if you look at the end of the lace tips right here, it says work harder. Now that's very cliche, but at the same time, you do need to work harder. So go ahead and get to it, stop complaining. And speaking of complaining, I had to bring this up too. Everybody's talking about the black cement Air Jordan 3s and people are saying these are basically the same shoe and why would I buy these when I want this classic? Now again, I get it. They are very, very similar, but 
I think you can wear these in two different ways when it comes to outfits. And don't get me wrong, I think you could dress this up, but I think you could dress these up a little bit more when it comes to this fit in particular. Again, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. But the Black Cement 3s are set to come out very, very soon. And I'm interested, you know, is this why people are not that interested in this shoe or what? Let me know down below in the comment section. Everybody's saying this is going to be an outlet special. And honestly, I'm not mad at that. I'm down to grab a couple pairs of tees and rock one in the rotation and have another one sitting on ice because this is a great shoe. I think, it, like I said earlier in the video, I think that when we get older and we look five years, seven years from now, 10 years from now, we're like, damn, you still got a pair of Armas, you kept them clean. Next thing you know, 700 bucks, 600 bucks. Again, don't quote me, but I think that might be something that could happen because we see this happen with collaborations from the past. Also the shoe game, the market, the economy, everything is kind of down right now. And this is a great time to be a sneakerhead to buy the shoes that you love and buy the shoes that you like. So don't go and not buy the shoe because everybody's not hyping it up anymore. If you truly like the shoe, go buy the shoe. Don't worry about all those things. But at the same time, I'm saying, you know, if you really love the shoe, like me, <laughs> I'm definitely getting two pairs of these. That's all I'm saying. So I posted some polls on my Instagram story to see what everybody else thinks about the shoes as well. Fires and trashes and this one versus that one and the whole set and all the different things. I don't have time because I got to run to the movies with wifey real quick. But either way, I'm posting the poll results here as I'm speaking. So you guys can see what everybody's talking about. And I'm sure those are going to change after the shoe releases and over time and different things like that. But again, how do you feel about those poll results? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys want to see any other reviews, I got some other early stuff coming very soon. I'm back on it. I know we just got back from Tokyo. We got a bunch of other stuff going on. I just moved everything. I got, I'll give you guys a, a life update. If you guys want to see a life update video, I might have to do that because there's been a lot going on with the investments. Everything has been booming right now. I'm excited to teach and educate and help however I can and show you guys how to diversify and how to get into real estate and all those other aspects. So if you got any questions about those things, let me know. And maybe I can answer all those questions in a separate video, giving you guys kind of like a life update, what's been going on over the past couple of months, because the priorities is the priorities and those things are going to set me up for a whole big, better future. So I had to take care of that stuff, but I didn't forget about you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys as always. And don't worry, we're coming back strong. I got a lot of stuff coming very soon. So, uh, I think, did we cover everything? I think so. I'll see you guys in another one. All right, I'm out. I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never.